Hello, this is Dr. Yates, one of my favorite patients. This is Justin, and we're here on a Saturday afternoon just sitting around high-fiving each other for obvious reasons, okay? <laughs> Look at his hair. You might say, well, why is he sitting in my chair? Why is he talking to me? You know, because I do hair. Obviously, he has a lot of nice-looking hair. But can you imagine, I'm going to say, two years ago, this is the first. Is that you? Yes, that is me. Oh, that is him. Unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> he said, unfortunately. Okay, take a look. Now, always, you know, we do a lot of video because if you just see pictures, and I hate to keep saying this, that you can Photoshop any picture you want. You can make somebody look as good or bad as you want to. So that's why we do a lot of videos because it's hard for us because, you know, we're just shooting with an iPad or an iPhone to do anything fancy. So this is what he looked like two years ago, and this is two procedures later. How many grafts did you have each time, Justin? Uh, I think the first time we had 1,500 about, 1,800. Okay, 1,500, and we always concentrated in this front, and then yeah. what about the next time? Next one was, I think, half that. It was, it was definitely smaller, it was more of a touch-up. 1,000, okay. Yeah. So maybe we're talking 2,500 grafts to go from this to this. Mm -hmm. He had all FUE, because that's all we do, and the trick about FUE is that you want to make incisions in the back so no one leaves a footprint that you had something done. So let's turn around and you can see he has so much donor here, it's no way. And you can shave your head down and nobody will see, right? Correct, 100%. Right. So you can see he's had a great result. And a lot of people always ask, well, with FUE, what makes people better than others? Like, or this guy uses a .6 punch or this and that. It's really not how small that you can go with the punch. It's how accurate you can go with the punch. It's better to go with the doctor that's accurate with a 1.0 punch than a guy or a lady who's using a 0.6 punch and tearing up your hair. Because you can actually leave the doctor's office with less hair than you came in with. And that's, people don't understand that because you don't get any more hair. Like when we took hair from Justin's back, his back got thinner to make this top thicker. So in the process of doing the surgery, suppose we used a punch or we didn't know what we were doing. We could injure hair and then he'd have less hair when he left than when he came in. That might be a little complex to understand, but it's very important for you to know. It's not how small that punch is, it's how accurate your operator is. So Justin, like when you found us, what would you say when you were looking for a surgeon you were looking for? I mean, someone honestly who, I mean reviews were a big thing for me, but I don't go too much off reviews. It's but more, you can always get crazy reviews. Yeah, you right? can always get bad reviews. You can right. always get good reviews. It sure. doesn't matter. Some of the some of the best restaurants I've gone to had bad Yelp reviews. Yeah, exactly. Well, exactly. Had <laughs> lots of bad Yelp reviews. <laughs> you know, so when that, people come in and ask us about one patient, it's like, come on. Yeah. You know. Yeah. No, absolutely. And yeah. I think to me is a comfort. And when I sat down with you and Scott, it mm -hmm. was. I guess the comfort level, but also you knew what you were talking about. Mm -hmm. It was the confidence, like, yeah, we could fix it, but you guys were upfront and honest with me, mm -hmm. and you told me upfront, like, listen, everybody's unique. We can't promise it's going to look like the hair that maybe you saw on somebody else. Like, True. And that's what I prefer, and that's what I really appreciated, was that you told me the truth upfront that, you know what, we're going to get you as much hair as we can, but... You know, it is what it is at the end of the day, right? We owe right. you so much, and that's why I appreciate it the most. Right, and Seriously. we're always here, yes. and my staff, to discuss any problems yes. or any expectations, yep. whatever, whatever. It's not like we're going to do the hair and then say, see you later. Exactly. You, you guys know? were very upfront, customer service, everything on the back end, making sure that, you know, PRP, whatever I needed. And we do a lot of PRP. Yeah, I want people who are watching this to look up PRP, because it's very important. Yeah, I've, I had one done every single time, mm -hmm. and... That helped with the healing process, um, especially being a diabetic. You were very aware of that, right? With the healing process that it takes longer with me, you were on top of that every single time, right? And so, just those little things that really made a huge difference to me. Wow, good, well said. So, as my grandmother would say, the proof's in the pudding, and his hair looks awesome. And what you have to remember, just what he said, every hair transplant is different. No one's the same. So, when we go through books and videos when I see new patients. You know, I don't guarantee they're going to look like this or if they're going to look like this because everything is so different and everything is so unique. So we're in the middle of the country. We're in Chicago. Please come and see us. This is Dr. Yates. This is Justin. See you later.